guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're walking into this little space for the first time, I'm Priyanka and I make videos about everything. So, uh, a couple of days back I took a poll where I asked you that do you want the most common questions for the HR rounds or do you want something that, you know, makes your technical profile better. So this is actually very specific to people in technical field. So it's like BCA, MCA or even someone who, most importantly actually, people who are engineers and who are trying to get into the zone of IT or are already in IT and want to, you know, amp up their profile. So this is a video solely on that. So in case if you think you're going to benefit from that, then please go ahead and watch this video. Otherwise, more videos related to your category coming on soon. As an engineer, since my main thing is programming or understanding how data functions, I am going to you know, give more focus on that thing. Similarly, if you're someone who is trying as a fresher in the IT field, I would ask you to be very particular about the things you write in your CV. So the first thing that you really need to mention in your CV are relevant academic projects. So if you're someone who is applying to companies like Infosys or TCS or any other company for that matter, that is purely IT related, try not to write things that are not IT related. So try not to mention projects that are not directly related to IT in any way because that is just unnecessary cluttering of data on the CV and it's not something that is recommended. Now, I do know a lot of people who did not have many academic projects to write, like they had really basic circuit-based projects in their college. So what they did was that they did some of the projects themselves. So they started to you know build websites on their own, they started making portfolios on their own and that has actually helped them get jobs because they honestly have more hands-on experience than a person who is doing academic projects. Now, another benefit of self-made projects is that when you do a project on your own without any constraints, without any, you know, grading system or any mark system, recruiters do see that. They see that you are a very self-motivated individual and they do appreciate that. The next tip I have for you guys is to specify the technical skills you have with proficiency. So I have seen a lot of people writing things like, we know Python, we know Java, etc. But how well do you know that language? You need to be very specific. So is it advanced, is it expert, or is it basic, intermediate? So you need to mention the level of skill you have in that language because if you're someone who is not comfortable with Python, you just know the basics of Python, and you're you know hired as a Python developer thinking you can do it later on, it actually piles on and creates a very bad impression and it can also lead to you being fired from that job. So I would suggest that be very clear about your technical details. Now also mentioning the fact that you have you know given some presentations or organized some workshops also shows that you have not only the technical ability to do that but also the managerial aspect of it. So writing things like that will also benefit you. Now, if you're someone that is going for a research-based company, my first advice for you is to mention that you have published some papers. Now, if you are someone who is going into the R&D department of any company, or even the fact that uh, the company is solely based on developing prototypes rather than, you know, testing them out, then I would definitely suggest you to give examples that you have written some papers, you have done research in so-and-so subjects, and you're, you can even present your thesis matter in that zone. Now, people who are going for just startups, you are so inclined on doing startups, then self-made projects is one thing. And the second thing that you can actually write is that some of the innovations you have done, it should not be something like has programming or something, but anything that shows that you have it in you to do things alone is highly appreciated. Also, they see the technical caliber behind that project. So again, that's like a plus one for you. Now, in case if you're someone who is not from IT department but wants to go to IT, then the best thing for you to do is to do a certification or mention that certification that shows that even though you are not from that department, you have learned programming and you're trying to, you know, um, get like at par with it. And honestly, certifications are not something that is world changing or life changing thing, but having them in your CV definitely makes a good point. In case if you're in your second year and third year and your placements are coming and you're a little worried about that, like how you can amp up your profile and if you're not able to do any of the points that I've mentioned above, then maybe you can participate in some competitions and some corpathons, hackathons, because that honestly pushes you forward to be your best self. And that also shows the recruiter that you have tried to move from your comfort zone to do something extra. Now the most, most, most important thing for any technical person out there or any other person in general out there is internships. You need to have one internship at least in your CV. Internships 
shows that you have some kind of industrial exposure you are not directly walking into an office environment on your first day of your job it shows that you have done something it shows that you have actually worked in like a corporate zone or office zone or even plant zone if you are like a mechanical engineer and you have done other than your curriculum this is something extra this is something mandatory and they are going to see it once they are in for your placements be it on campus or off campus thank you so much for watching this video guys and i hope you found the information useful if you think i have missed out anything important then do write down in the comment section below i'm sure someone will benefit out